Okay, now that we've familiarized ourselves with OMIM Explorer's basic layout, let's step through the workflow for an example case. You can always save and later reload a case to continue analysis where you left off. However, in this example, we will create a completely new workflow and identify a causal variant. We will begin with step one, describe case, where you can provide freeform text describing the features of a case. Any data that you input during a session can be downloaded via the Save tab here as an OMIM Explorer file for safekeeping or for sharing with colleagues. This session data can be viewed once again and edited by uploading the session file through the Load tab's import interface here. For security purposes, none of this text remains on our servers after the session ends. But since we're creating a session from scratch, Let's begin by entering some text into the description box. For the purposes of this tutorial, I've chosen Kleefstra syndrome as an example case and have spiked a known causal EHMT1 variant for the syndrome into a filtered version of a healthy individual's exome VCF made publicly available by Manuel Corpas, the individual himself. I've selected a few paragraphs describing Kleefstra syndrome on the NIH Genetic Home Reference website and we'll now paste them into the text box. Recently, a natural language processing tool called BioLark was published, and it allows for the automated extraction of HBO terms from freeform text. I integrated BioLark into OMIM Explorer through this button here. Using this phenotype extraction tool is not necessary, but it does help speed up the input process. So let's use it to automatically pull phenotypes from the description. All right, BioLark found several items in the description, and I'll add a few to the selection. Notice that adding phenotypes to the selection automatically advances the workflow wizard to step two, input phenotypes. Switches to the phenotype selection tab in the left side control panel and populates the heads up phenotype query display panel to the right. In this list, input phenotypes are arranged and colored in order of decreasing rareness among diseases in the OMIM catalog. Red phenotypes are the most rare, and the blue ones are the most common. In this context, rare means exhibited in a relatively small quantity of OMIM diseases, and common means exhibited in a relatively large quantity of OMIM diseases. Alternatively, these phenotypes can be displayed as a word cloud via an adjustment to the settings tab, like so. The same color scale applies, but now the rarest phenotypes are also the largest. This word cloud representation is useful because it puts an even greater visual emphasis on the rarest phenotypes, making the most distinguishing input easier to see at a glance. Also note that the red line always indicates your current step in the workflow wizard. Since we're now on the phenotype input step, we can also manually select additional phenotypes. Note that OMIM Explorer automatically suggests phenotypes to complete the parts of words I type. Let's advance to the next step. Step 3, Generate Differential, by clicking the Next button, which takes us to the initial differential diagnosis. The ranking in this differential is from the semantic similarity match scores computed between the phenotype query we just entered and the thousands of diseases annotated with HPO terms. The default matching method is our implementation of Resnick similarity, but this can be replaced with another in the Settings tab. Reviewing the differential, we can see that Kleefstra syndrome is already ranked within the top 10 diseases. It's important to mention that all diseases are ranked, not just those that may or may not be known to exhibit the queried phenotypes. Also note that this ranking is before any gene or phenotype filters are even applied, which could improve the ranking. Let's advance to the next step, step four, 
input variant genes by directly clicking the Next Steps button. OMIM Explorer currently supports single individual HG19 VCFs or single column CSV text files listing genes of interest. I'll go ahead and upload the VCF for our test case. OMIM Explorer can limit the disease differential to diseases causally linked through OMIM's morbid map to variants in the uploaded VCF. Now we can see a list of the genes that were present in the VCF we uploaded, complete with identity, frequency, and pathogenicity information for the variants they contain. We also immediately see that the known causal EHMT1 variant is prioritized at the top of the list. OMIM Explorer prioritizes variants using a guilt by association approach, which ranks variant genes as a function of the query match scores of the diseases they're linked to. If we go back to step three, we can also see that the disease differential has been automatically filtered to only diseases causally linked to the genes we just uploaded, giving Kleefstra syndrome the top spot. Additionally, if we click this rank rationale link here, we see an explanatory listing of the causally linked diseases whose match scores were used to come up with this ranking. Note that when I click the link, the workflow wizard color guide disappeared to indicate that I've deviated from the suggested workflow. This isn't a problem though, as we simply need to click the button for our last step to get back on track.